Hello, hello. Today is day 22 of the Father Watercolor Challenge. And today we are going to be painting a potion bottle. So we're going to talk a little bit about how to paint glass, how to paint liquid, um, how to paint like spherical shapes. Um, so yesterday was a long one. I'm going to try to make this one a little bit of a shorter one. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to first draw our bottle. So I'm going to make like a circle-ish shape right here around the bottom. If you want to trace something, great. I feel like this potion bottle is maybe, you know, made from back in the day where sh shapes were honed and with blown glass or something. And there's, I don't know, lots of room for exciting wiggly lines. Okay. <laughs> I've been uh, listening to Outlander and I love hearing about all like the medical instruments that she gets made and all the things that Brianna is kind of figuring out. That's always fun to me. So um, I'm on book seven. Um, all right. So I'm going to give it now this nice little trunk. Okay. Or neck, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to do like um, just a little oval. Okay. And then what you can do is you can take the necklines and just kind of curve them a little bit to meet that oval. And I'm going to draw another oval right on top of it. And this helps give us the shape of the top of the bottle. And then let's do like a little, a little uh, stopper. Okay. And then we're going to do another oval right at the top so we can see the stopper. And it comes in a little bit, so kind of like this shape. Um, and this is going to help us just have an idea of where we're going. Um, so with watercolor, if there's any parts of my drawing that I don't want to preserve, I always try to erase it. I really like using a kneaded eraser. So if you're interested in these, they are in my Amazon storefront. Um, but you can just get little pieces and... Um, you can kind of dab it up if there's any lines that you don't want to see. Um, or if you want to lighten the lines, you can also take your kneaded eraser. Oh my gosh, go on. Um, and you can roll it over the shape. Like if I wanted to kind of lighten these lines, I could just roll the kneaded eraser over. So let's, let's just zoom in on here so you can see the shape a little bit better. But also a regular eraser works just fine. Um, you know, side note, I did some photo shoot stuff for my hits recently. Um, and I use this to help keep the paper and pe and pens and, or not pens, brushes from like rolling all over the place when I was taking pictures. So that's always fun. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to trace a really light line and this is going to be like the thickness of the glass. Okay. So just a little bit around where um, our perimeter is. So almost like we're making like a smaller jar inside our jar or potion, whatever, bottle. Beaker? I'm, and he'll just keep saying words. Okay, so now that we get to the bottom and we, we the bottom's a little bit curved here um, and I want to then draw a little another uh, oval shape in here. That's gonna be the base of our beaker. All right, and then I also want to put like the rest of the cork in here, okay? So we've got here, and then our liquid is going to be right here because this potion is an active potion we're being used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to then draw one of those little semicircles, or not semicircles, little ovals that goes from edge to edge of the inside line, all right? And our potion is going to be in this lower half, and... Um, inside that second line, okay? Um, when we are painting this, I want you to kind of think of this area right here. So don't outline this on your page, I'll outline it on mine. And this area right here is where we're gonna get some highlights, okay? And that's gonna just kind of give us that feeling of glass, all right? Um, and I might do like a little, a little highlight right here. Okay. 
All right, so you know what? Do outline this on your page, okay? So let's, uh, let's get up close. So I've got like a little streak here with maybe like a little fatness to that streak right there. I've got a little curved line here. So we've got this streak with a little extra streak and then we've got this streak right here. Okay, so I guess I said this was gonna be short and sweet but here we are, it's five minutes in and we're still drawing. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we are going to paint a little light blue just to give, well, I don't know, should we do like, an, like a light, whatever color you want your glass. Okay. So I'm getting a big brush because big brush, big space. I'm using a size six. It says imitation Kolonsky by Raphael. I got this as a gift from somewhere. I can't even remember. Maybe McPherson sent it to me. Um, and it's the one that my daughter's been using. So it's not great, but it's fine. Okay. I mean, it's a good brush, but she's just been using it. So I kind of want this glass to be I don't want it to be like a little bit of that green color. So I am going to do like a very light green. I also think you're going to be able to see it better. If you want it to look more like glass, I think a cerulean blue can be a nice touch. So what I'm going to do, oh, that brush is, it's gone. She's been smushing it everywhere. Okay. All right. I'm going to use this. It's a little bit too big, but it's right here and I don't want to, I don't want to waste your time. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over the whole glass. So even where the cork is. All right. If you can avoid those little parts where we did the highlight, great. But if you can't, that's okay. I'm going to just kind of loosely not paint around the highlights. And I want this to remain really light, okay? So your paint puddle is going to be mostly water, a little bit of paint. All right. And um, there we go. So once we paint over, I probably should have given you this morning before, but once we paint over these lines, um, you are going to have trouble like erasing them. So if you ever want to erase your lines, I would recommend doing the kneaded eraser over it before you paint, because that's going to be the best way to like lighten them. And then hopefully the paint will kind of cover up the lines, but I really want you to be able to see this. So I'm leaving them in. Okay, so then we're gonna let this dry. If you did paint over your lines, what we can do is we can take a little paper towel, a little piece of paper towel, and you can just use the lifting technique, kind of a paper towel. Um, I like to just kind of get mine into a little bunch and you can just tap, 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 and tap, 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 tap. Okay, great. Um, awesome. And I might, since it's still wet, I might add just a smidge of extra paint here along the bottom edges just to give it some depth. Oop, looks like I went out of the lines here. That's fine. Um, maybe some of that perylene green just to give it a little more, a little more oomph. Okay. And here at the base. Yeah. Okay. And then just kind of, yeah, I like that. That's cute. Okay. Then we're going to let that dry. All right. I'm going to use my hair dryer. You do whatever you need to do to let it dry. See you in a bit. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm getting so excited about painting this. I can't even begin to tell you. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to um, paint the potion. Um, so you know what, like, let's actually do the cork first. Um, so I'm taking my size four brush. I've got some brown on here that I think is like corkish, but if you have a yellow ochre and maybe add just like a smidge of red and like a little touch of green or something to kind of bring it into the earth tones, you can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the top. All right. And then when it gets to the green, just stop for a sec. And what we're going to do. So usually the rim of this glass is going to be a little thicker. So we will just kind of like get a light, much lighter uh, version. So more water, less paint. And I'm going to paint the underneath side where the cork is on the inside of the tube. Um, and I'm going to leave that um, 
mostly unpainted, but I'm just going to put like a little line in there of that color. Just a little light line, okay? Because you will be able to see a little bit through it, but I don't want to like belabor that situation. All right, and you might notice that the top is that pure color that you just painted. Um, well, I just had some water in there, so now it's looking kind of great, but that's okay. Um, and then the bottom is gonna have some of that green poking out from underneath, which is really cool. So this is the glaze technique in action. And the green of the bottle um, is being reflected in that paint um, or, or in that cork. All right, so now I want to think about what color I want to do for the potion. And I feel like I want to do kind of like a like a Payne's gray, like a deep blue, um, with maybe like a little purple in there. And um, so as I'm painting it, what we're going to do is we're going to paint the whole um, actually, when we're looking at our little outline, I might also just leave just a little bit unpainted along this line and maybe like a little sliver of it unpainted over there. Okay. Just to kind of give it a pop. So I'm going to mix up my color first. We're going to make a nice big paint puddle of whatever potion you want. Yours is going to look you know, different than mine. And that's great. And depending on what color, trying to think what would look good with the green. Oops, I got little splatters, but it's kind of cute. Honestly, I might definitely do that at the end. Okay. But now I know I'm not ready. Um, so it's really fun to kind of see how these colors might come together. If you want to start lighter, um, you totally can. And then we can build as we go. So, all right, let's go ahead and Make sure you're just painting the inside circle and leave a little layer of your of your water bottle out. This time we're definitely um, going to leave that um, that shadow or the the shiny part um, unpainted. Okay, so those little highlights that you made, we're going to leave them unpainted, and that is for drama. Um, by leaving those shiny parts, it really gives a pop. And I find, especially with glass, like if you can get really dark darks and really light lights, it really just kicks your painting up a notch. All right, so we are gonna be working across our potion bottle. Um, I'm doing the underside first before I get to the overside, that little circle above and Anytime you feel like you might be drying out a little bit, just add some more water so you have time to get to it before it dries out. Once again, I'm just watching out for this little shadow here or this little highlight. Okay, very nice. There we go. All right, let's add a little, yeah, add a little pizzazz to my potion. Um, I'm gonna do some wet and wet action here. Maybe like a little bit around the edge. Maybe it's like swirling. I'm gonna just let it get real exciting in there. Okay, and then I am going to um, do the upper part. And I probably need to switch it upside down. So just leaving the lightest of space in between. Again, if it goes over and it connects to your underside, that's okay. When I'm doing like these mixy kind of blendy blend um, wet and wets, I love to pick up one color. And then when I come back in, pick up another color and it really lets the blending um, kind of do its thing in a cool way. Okay. We'll let that connect there, I think. And all right, I like that. Um, I kind of want like a little bit more color in that spot. I might just kind of add like that. That's fun. Okay, now let's add some salt. Where's my salt? Where's my salt? Find your salt, everybody. Found it. 
just going to add a little salt in there because I think it's going to make it look kind of bubbly. Okay, and we're going to take some time to add a little bit of detail. I'm going to grab too much salt. All right, let's add a little detail to the cork. It should be dry by now. Um, so I'm just going to grab some of the color that I mixed up previously. I'm going to tap my brush to my paper towel. And then I just am going to paint this edge right here. I'm going to differentiate the top. I may just add a little bit more of that line. I think it's okay. And then what I want to do is to add a little bit of detail to the cork underneath. So I've added a little bit to the sides and to the bottom. It's got a little bit of a highlight in the middle. I like it to be kind of sketchy like that. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit of my green. So I'm mixing up a perylene green with that um, green gold that I, or not green gold. Yes, all green, sorry, that I did before. And I want to be careful of getting into my potion, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some darker lines around the edge to just give it, give it some oomph. And I'm making it a little sketchy. I don't want it to be like, um, oh my God, I would love to teach like a realistic glassware class. That would be, I'm just kind of doing some on the inside lines, some on the outside lines, just because I want a little definition. I kind of like it when it's like a little bit, a little bit wiggly. Okay. Then let's go ahead and do it like along this bottom of the the glass. It might blend a little bit with your cork, but that's okay. And I got a little shadow in there. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. Okay. And now I think I kind of want to Oh yeah, let's dry enough. I kind of want to just take a light wash of that and give the, sh the shape of my cup like a little bit of. So I've got a little bit of a lighter wash, a little bit more water, a little bit of paint, and I'm just giving some shape to my, to my potion bottle. This is, whoa, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> my phone like flew out of my hand. Okay. Jeez. Oh God, we're all alive. Okay. Um, this is still a little wet and wet, so I might wait on that. Okay. Um, yeah, I like that this kind of gives shape to that bell of that curve here. All right, let's hold it there. Just kidding. I'm gonna add a little bit. We'll blend it out there around the edge of that bottle just to give it that round shape, okay? Awesome. Great. So I'm gonna give it a little dry dry and um, we'll come back for just adding a little bit more of that bottle feel. Pause. All right, so first I'm going to grab a little bit of purple um, just to add some of like the background, like the bottom of the glass because maybe this is a little bit see-through and we can kind of see where, where the mixture is like, oh God. None of those were my water cup. Okay, where the um, where the mixture is at the bottom of our little pool here, and I'm just kind of smoothing out that line, bringing it up into the rest of the bottle. Actually, you know what? I'm not liking that, so I'm bringing it up. I think this is murky enough, you know. Um, all right. Yeah, you know, sometimes you start things and sometimes you're like, I don't know about that. Um, maybe I'll do like a little bit of a, some depth there to kind of see the back of the bottle. Okay. Now I'm going to take that light green, careful to not paint where I just painted over because I don't really want it to blend in with that, but maybe it will. So I'm going to take a nice juicy brush with some really watery green mixture and I'm just going to do like a nice big streak down here and avoiding my, my highlights. Um, 
And this is going to give us, I'm not painting the whole thing, but just a little bit where like kind of around the sides and next to our highlights. So it really emphasizes that the brightness of the highlights. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't like it. Let's do a little more over here. Okay. There we go. There is our potion. I might even add like a little bit more dark over here just to kind of emphasize the depths of the potion. Why did I say that so creepy? Sorry. All right. Yeah, I think that's good. It's just, okay, stop. All right, now I'm going to take some, some of my paints. How I like to splatter is I like to put something underneath and I like to go just on top. I'm going to do some of that green. Really like this perlene green on the green gold mixture. If you want bigger splats, you can use a bigger brush or just dip your water first and that's going to give you some bigger splashes all right and then i'm going to let this little cutie pie dry if you want it to be really dramatic you could go back in with like a much darker color like a really dark green would be really cool and just give some emphasis to some of these shapes um like right around here kind of down here in around the thing but um the stopper but i think this is where i would like to stop so um, yeah, happy painting. Okay, 20 minutes. I'm so sorry, but here we are. <laughs> Enjoy your day.